How do you guys like that intro, eh? Zooming in on the always interesting <laughs> Weston Road. Yes, Alex here. What is happening, y'all, in the York Borough? Not too, too far from where I used to live, but an area that I haven't been to in a while, mainly because uh, one of my family members, members uh, has COVID, but it'll always still be in my heart. The area is still for, still for it's just to the east of here, but we're in the very diverse and interesting Mount Dennis neighborhood on Weston Road, just north of Eglinton Avenue West. It is afternoon rush hour. The sun is going down. I did a walking video on the street last month, but I started the video at Eglinton and went southeast. I have not done a video between here and uh, Jane Street yet. Weston Road goes northwest, southeast, I believe. And look at that, there's the CN Tower. Right there, with the uh, sunlight just uh, reflecting on it. And there goes by an Orion 7 3G. But yeah, I got off the 989 bus here at Weston Road and Ray Avenue. And yes, this is the first walking video I am filming. What? Oh, <laughs> guy's giving me a peace sign there. <laughs> and the Enterprise uh, minivan. <laughs> Anyways, I was mentioning, I was just about to say, uh, I mean, yes, I, I do appreciate when people wave hands or, uh, say hi, but yes, this is the first walking video I am filming, uh, after the ending of Daylight Savings Time, yes, because right now the time is, what's the time right now? It is 4.55 and the sun, sunset is literally in 10 minutes, so no more sunsets at friggin' 5.45, 6.30-ish. Without daylight savings time, I know I know there's a lot of effects on that, but uh, uh, I, it doesn't really affect me in that case. Daylight savings time doesn't like what like whether we're on it or not, it doesn't really affect me. So this, uh. hey, there's there's an up express train. Yes, that is the Metrolinx corridor spanning the Go Transit Kitchener line up express, which is the Union Pearson. Airport to downtown Rear Link and uh, via trains. So, uh, as, uh, as I mentioned before, Mount Dennis is a working class neighborhood. It's very diverse. You may have had some facelifts in the past, but it's, it's gotten a lot better. And now we are kind of entering the, according to the sign, we're entering the Black Creek business area. I could have gone, I could have um, went here like half an hour earlier. Hey look, another train, had this time heading to YYZ. That's kind of perfect. <laughs> oh, as I was t t mentioning about the uh, daylight savings time, as I mentioned, it doesn't affect me whether we're on it or not, but I gotta get used to the earlier sunsets now. That's why days are just, you know, getting shorter and shorter and by next month, Sun's, the sun's gonna be setting like 4.45 so, or earlier, so taking advantage of it. As you know, as it gets dark earlier, it just tempts me to make a lot more sunset videos and even nighttime videos. So early, I guess you can call this early evening. Yeah, I, just, I, was, I was just coming back from uh, Robarts Library at the uh, U of T St. George campus. I did not even mention what we're gonna do today in this video. So. I thought of doing a, a little walking video around the Black Creek business and Mount Dennis areas. And this part of town is a bit industrial and the Mount Dennis bus garage is just around the corner. So as I'm, as uh, we're speaking right now, or as I'm filming right now, we're walking east on Ray Avenue and then uh, we're gonna make a left onto Industry Street. I think it's a good thing uh, I came here a bit later because uh, the sun is already setting. If I came here like half an hour earlier, like the sun would have been on me and uh, too much glare would not be good for the lens at all, so. But nevertheless, I kind of wanted to film a walking video around here for a while. And I forgot to mention my dates. It is the 8th of November, 2022. And it's chilly for good this time, eight Celsius. Don't really know what that is in Fahrenheit for all you Americans. Hey, there's a can of post office right here. And to my right, what you're looking at right there is the 
new maintenance storage facility for the Eglinton LRT Line 5. So here's my plan. We're going to make a left here onto Industry Street, pass by the Mount Dennis bus garage, turn around, and then head all the way to Todd Bayless Boulevard and uh, Chathui Drive, and I'll just take the 32 home. I've always find this area to be uh, interesting. The 71 running meet and the 171 routes loop around here, so... Well, actually, the 171 loops in a clockwise uh, direction, while the 71 kind of makes its loop. Hey, is there a train coming? There is a train coming. It's probably a, a CP one. Let's zoom in here. It's probably coming in slow. For all you rail fans out there. Oh, just the engines! Just the engines! Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, it sucks to be a longer freight, but nah. Longer freight trains kind of bore me out, so. I'm kind of all over the place because I kind of had trouble uh, filming the 989 route, and once I started filming, like, the lighting was just so dark on the camera, so when I got to a pause, I had to reset it, and then I successfully filmed on the way. But I had to uh, stop and go because, you know, of traffic, and I uh, was pretty concerned about uh, the lighting on the camera. So, of course, if you guys are wondering what I'm filming on, I am filming on a Panasonic DMC Z60. So here is Industry Street. We're actually going to be stepping into North York. The border is literally up the street from here, so... And of course it says no exit, there's no way out once you head to the uh, Mount Dennis garage, though there is a path that leads to my cousin's Richards area of Brookhaven Innsbruck. There's the 171 Mount Dennis route, which I've only been on once serving the locals of Mount Dennis to the Black Creek business area. I wonder how the drivers on the I wonder how the driver on the 171 route really feels about having to just work the same route over and over again every 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure he's bored by now. I've never been here on foot before, just on the bus. And there's the 71 running me. That is a Orion 7 old generation diesel. It was formerly. The 71 route was formerly a Mount Dennis route, but because of the McNichol division, which opened up last year, it caused a lot of assignment changes. So now the 71 is operated by Queensway, which I think it's still freaking weird because this bus does not belong here. <laughs> wow. So I think we're heading, let me check my phone here. I think we're heading northwest, I believe as it's now 5.02 p.m. So that means the sun is really starting to go down. And by the time I get home, it's gonna be dark, pitch black. So yeah, we are, this is where we are. We are right here. And this is looking to, yes, we are walking northwest. I am just minutes away from my cousin Richard's place. But that would be on the other side of Tree Theory Drive. Either way, we're gonna be stepping into North York for a brief period. And then we'll be turning around, maybe heading back on the uh, sidewalk. And won't you look at that, guys. There's the CN Tower, and she is just towering over in my way. Okay, you know what? Why don't we cross to the other side? Because I kind of want to walk back the same side and show you guys the uh, storage facility. And yes, here's the Mount Dennis bus garage. I missed an event. Well, every year they have this, uh, they have this uh, open house on, uh, I think it was, it was held like a couple weeks ago on a Sunday in October and I, I missed out on it. I think mean, they had the, the uh, some of the electric buses on display and I think the GM New Look was there too. 
Why don't we watch uh, this guy come out here on the 171? Oh man. So this garage opened in 19... No, not 19. <laughs> 2008. And it houses... It currently houses the original generation of hybrids. The next generation, well at least half of them. The Nova Bus LFS Artic... <laughs> articulated and the... Uh, uh, the Proterra Catalyst, the electric bus. What a shot. I've seen people film videos from here, but I haven't really gotten to do that myself yet. So there's just some industrial, look, plumbing, hydronics. I wonder if 1134 is gonna, or I wonder if I'm gonna see 1134 again. I am sorry if I'm all over the place. I think I'm kind of excited to be in this area and the fact that we are just right across from the garage. Anyway, I think we're now on the borders of York and North York. You know, if I had time, I could just walk over to uh, Richard's and uh, give him a surprise. His birthday's coming up. In fact, I think we're—I think I'm seeing him on Saturday. I was going to be watching the Black Panther sequel, Wakanda Forever. I have not been on a Proterra in ages, and I, and they're normally found on uh, during the rush hours. But also at other times of a day as well. But I haven't, I don't even remember the last time I was on that bus. Maybe it might have been like early summer. I don't know. So basically the 171 and 71 routes. Speaking of the 71, there's another one coming up. So he's going to loop in here and around the garage. Oh, I still find it so weird. Seeing a Queensway bus invade Mount Dennis territory. Let's watch him uh, loop around. This is going to be a long video because I'm going to be turning around. Oh, look at this, guys. God, this camera has a very fantastic zoom. It wasn't for that guy on his bike. Oh, it's an evasion, it's an evasion. I'm just kidding, not really, but it's still kind of weird. <laughs> Here's the Black Creek Business Center. And there's a path leading into the Brookhaven Neighborhood. I think I saw. I think I heard the bus power off over there. So Industry Street comes to an end right here. So I'm gonna turn around and head in the other direction to Todd Bailey's Boulevard and then onto uh, Chathiri Drive, where I can catch the bus. By the way, in these industrial areas, you'll never know what stuff you'll find. So. That's kind of why I like to uh, film walking videos in these typical industrial areas. So, again, we are in North York, but we'll be out of here pretty soon. Look at that, guys. There's a... Look at this. These are all OT hybrids. I think they're probably uh, waiting to be a scrap or something because half of these buses have a... Uh, um, retired and more of them will be pretty soon. It, it goes, it comes and goes like all the time. So you never know which uh, but which which bus will suffer and then eventually haul away into the scrapyard. Well, either way, these buses are kind of showing their age. But I think it's kind of too early for that. These buses have been in service for 
over 15 years. And same with the uh, older next-gen hybrids. Look at this. You guys can even see the financial district. First Canadian place, Scotia Plaza. Well, that, that, that's considered trespassing once I <laughs> pass the gates. But this train access gates still says no trespassing here. But most of our TDC operators don't mind if we're just like standing right outside, you know, if you want to photograph the buses. But sometimes drivers don't want to be filmed. Okay, so because I've been like so distracted talking about the, the garage and the typical area, a few interesting things happened. So, um, okay, first of all, before I swing the camera around, here's a closer look at 1122, 3738, and 1208. I've pretty much been on almost all of the Mount Dennis buses because, you know, as I mentioned, I don't live too far from here, so I, I'm, I'm, a heavy, I'm a heavy user of the 32 route. So, anyway, so the biggest, oh, look at that. There's somebody working on, I, don't, I can't even tell what bus that is in there. He is hard at work. Okay, there's someone walking way behind me, so we're gonna keep, we're just gonna get going. Okay, so this morning, I was as I was leaving uh, <laughs> um, home, uh, my friend who you've seen in many of my videos, Yahia, who has a channel, by the way, <laughs> he told me that he saw a T1 on line one, and initially, I didn't believe him, so uh, he just sent me a picture, it looked like, it looks like the, the type of camera style. It was at, the T1 was at Bloor Young Station. I still didn't believe him. So I kind of I, I kind of fell for the freaking prank because uh, I posted the picture on my community tab because I thought it was for real. And then one of my viewers sends me a link to RM Trans's video where where basically he his video just consisted of spotting the uh, the T1. Let's look at that, guys. Look, you can make out a Arctic at the back. That's the camera. Does not want to focus. There we go. Pretty interesting. But yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, and then and then uh, it just brought me directly to the video where it had the uh, basically Yahya screenshotted it from uh, Arm Transit's video. So. I already knew it, but I was so fooled, so I just deleted the post. So yeah, yeah, you got me pretty freaking good. I salute you for that. Shout out to you, man. <laughs> I think it's because I, because I was, you know, he and I were texting last night, and uh, again, that kind of like rickrolled him. So I think older generations would not get it, but. Well, the sun has gone down now. So by the time I end this video, it's probably gonna get even more darker and then when I get home, it's gonna be pitch black, so. That is, a really, that is the reality when you're living without daylight savings time. But it's been a controversial thing because, you know, so many people wanted it gone here, but here in Ontario, well, Ontario already passed the, uh, the legislation, but now they're waiting for Quebec and New York to follow suit. So this is gonna be kind of weird and interesting at the same time. All right, so now we're heading south east along Industry Street. May take another 10 to 15 minutes to get to to Dewey Drive and uh, wrapping up this video, but so this is turning out to be a pretty good walk. I love sunsets. They're just they're just so aesthetic. They're they're just they just really get me in the mood to just photograph, take videos and stuff and that's not all. That's not all I wanted to ask. Not ask, but like, no. Stay. Here comes another seventy-one bus. That is eighty thirty-five.
Looks a bit shiny too. And now we're gonna get a close up look at the main storage facility. I bet you're gonna be spotting some uh, LRVs uh, parked in the uh, uh, parked at the uh, MSF. Anyway, <laughs> one other thing I was gonna mention. I was on the subway, right? The uh, Bloor Danforth line from took it from St. George to Kiel and then took the 99, and that's how I got here. When we got to Austin Station, I heard the the power shut off. I think it was like the heat and stuff. The doors open, and then everything was like silent. And then the driver made an announcement saying that someone has cut the track power, so, and he said that we're not going anywhere. So, and then and then we got off the train. Well, half of us did anyway. And uh, the lights shut off. But then after about two three minutes, it uh, went back on again. And then the driver stated that uh, there's an entry at track level at Spadina Station, so there is no service on line two between Ossington and St. George. Look at this, guys. We have made it to the brand new maintenance and storage facility right next door to the uh, Mount Dennis bus garage. And I think this is for employees as well who are, you know, working on the LRVs or even like bringing them out to test. And of course, right around the corner from here is Mount Dennis LRT station, which will be a major transit hub. Not only the Washington Terminus of a line, but it'll connect to the Kitchener Goal Line and Up Express. And it's gonna have a freaking huge bus terminal. So definitely looking forward to that. Oh yeah, I'm also in my my friend's hood. Forgot forgot to mention when I started the video, but she's more like near Weston and Eglinton, so. Here's a look to the Brookhaven neighborhood in North York. That would be at Black Creek Drive in Chithui. And now we're going downhill. We're actually gonna be stepping back into North York and that's where I'm gonna end, ooh, look at this old car here. Ah, I love the lighting on this. I love it. That might be making for a good thumbnail, but maybe even better, there's a bus in this shot. Oh, and that is uh, literally smoke coming out of the uh, factories. I think it's the I think it's the Real Toilet Paper Factory at, at uh, Jane Street. Definitely is for sure. And that's what I suspect. And look at that, we have a parked Flexity Freedom. In there. If only we, if only we caught one moving though, that would be epic. In fact, me and Yahya caught, uh, um, me and Yahya caught the vehicles testing at, uh, Golden Mile Station on Friday. It's my second time catching it. Anyway, I wasn't actually... <laughs> Again, I am all over the place. I apologize, but... As I was saying, my story doesn't end there, so... We got back on the train, and we just kept moving without incident. And then after I ended my, my quick little video, because it was kind of hilarious and interesting at the same time, these two ladies asked uh, asked uh, if I was you know doing a YouTube video, and she uh, told them I have a channel, and the, they searched it up, so... Shout out to you guys if you're seeing this. But I'm gonna post that video tomorrow because honestly, I love ca I I really like capturing stuff like this. You know, when it comes to delays and even like, you know, miscommunications like <laughs> that, for example. I wasn't I wasn't sure if it was really miscommunication. It sounded like it because we were we were let off a train and then we went back on. But really, there is a real reason as as there's an injury on track level between Ossington and St. George. It was most like at Spadina because it checked TTC service alerts. Oh, this is a good thumbnail for sure. Let's see here. I may have to combine a few and see as I'm editing.
I've been filming for 25 minutes. Let me see if I can make it back to, let me see if I can make it to the bus stop before it automatically stops filming. I could have even hopped on that bus and uh, take it to uh, Chithui Drive and then I'll hop on the 32C, but unlikely. That is Black Creek Drive over there. But we are now coming up to Todd Bayless Boulevard. And this was named after uh, Todd Bayless, who is a police officer who was fatally shot in this shot uh, around this area. This, if you guys did not know, uh, this area, spe spe specifically along Street Theory Drive, was very notorious for gang violence and shootings. But thank God for a police station right in the center of the area. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm not even sure when that police station was built. Might have been built like around the time of his death or I don't know much, but uh, my dad did tell me, uh, he did tell me that little story. So yeah, here's Top Bayless Boulevard and also Black Creek meets Chithiri Drive, but it's kind of complicated because you got to turn because for drivers, like, so like, like you can't like turn because of its diagonal uh, intersection, it just prevents you from turning directly. So, for example, if you want to, uh, how should I put this? If you're coming from Chitiri Drive and you want to turn, uh, if you want to turn, uh, let's say, left and south into Black Creek Drive, you have to uh, take Todd Bayless Boulevard, take it all the way down to Black Creek Drive and just head south. Or if you're coming from Chithiri Drive heading southeast and want to make a left onto Black Creek Drive, which will eventually turn into Highway 400, you have to uh, take Todd Bayless and then turn left onto Black Creek and then just head up. And here's the same 1134 guy coming back. Now it's getting darker and darker, and now my battery is at two bars, and uh, I don't know how well it's going to fare in this cold. I mean, I had the camera since February, but since the weather's getting cold, it's probably going to drain the battery even more. And uh, I have to get it fixed my well, I'm doing it myself because, uh, you know, last week I broke the uh, replacement door as I dropped it by accident, so I'm going to have to use my hands. Oh man, I could have just walked to Richard's place and give him hello, but I'm seeing him on Saturday anyways. He watches all my videos, so shout out to you, man. And here is the police station. Forgot the, forgot the division number. Private property. Okay, so this is gonna automatically stop recording in 90 seconds, so I'm going to walk fast. And there's the bus stop, so I'm gonna wait for the 32C. Actually, no, it's, well, technically, it's the 32 Eglinton was, but if you're heading in the other direction, it's, it's the 32C, which will take you to Jay and Lawrence, but uh, at least I gotta take one route to get home, so. Or I can, actually, I can either walk or I can take the 109, but either way, it's gonna be one route. So yeah, now we're back in North York and at the uh, other end of the Black Creek business area. It's kind of interesting how we walked from one commercial sector to the other end of it. And now here we are at Chithiri Drive and Top Bayless Boulevard. And I do not see a bus yet. Well, this video is going to automatically stop recording in the next... 40, actually, no, 35 seconds, so we're just gonna end it right here. So, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, shit, that scared the hell out of me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, see some more videos. You can always support me via PayPal. Uh, super thanks. Your donations are appreciated. And uh, stay warm, guys. It's getting chilly out there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take care. Adios. Sadara. Bye-bye. And... Stay tuned for more, like I mentioned. <laughs> oh, this was fun. See you guys.